What's up, world? It's your girl Need to Be, aka Young Show, aka back with another video. Look, man, y'all can tell by the title of this video what's going on. So if you came up in this thing and you're new to this channel, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, turn the post notification bells on so y'all know when I'm posting these videos and everybody else welcome back, man. You girl are doing good. You girl are doing pretty good. I feel good about this YouTube thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep showing me love, keep hitting the subscribe button, and you already know what's up so man I, I got a story for y'all man y'all know wing stop came out with their new chicken sandwiches i've been searching up and down for these chicken sandwiches and unfortunately i stay in a small market and my wing stop ain't got it right now so instead of hitting y'all off with you know what i wanted to do i wanted to do a review on the chicken sandwiches i'm doing a review with none other than Burger King chicken sandwiches. So, this is my first time trying this crispy, spicy chicken sandwich that they got. I never had a chicken sandwich from Burger King, to be honest with you, because the last time I had one was that long, skinny, thin patty that I, I just can't get with. So, they revamped their sandwich, and now they saying they look kind of premium. They premium chicken sandwiches. I don't know, Popeye's little fire and everybody else, now everybody got them a good sandwich on the chicken side. In Wingstop, so man, Wingstop got their chicken sandwiches. I I can't get I can't get one. I'm I'm disappointed as hell, but at least I got something. So as the packaging comes, this is a spicy a spicy. It don't say if it's a deluxe or nothing. It just say it's a spicy chicken sandwich from Burger King with the cheese, the lettuce, tomato, and I added pickles because you know I do pickles. So, yeah, and I also got some of their infamous chicken fries. I ain't never had none of these either, so I'm going to check that out as well. But your girl been busy, man. Your girl been busy. My boy had his birthday. You know, I did a little vlogging on that too, but, you know, I ain't really in, you know, in the vlog category yet. So, I'm still trying to learn how to, you know, tweak the, the vlogs and all that, putting all the footage together. So, I will be putting that up soon. But right now we finna get in the chicken sandwich. So before we put anything in our mouths, man, y'all already know what we gotta do. We gotta bow them heads. Bow them. Bow. And if any of y'all that had that wing stop sandwich, man, let me know. Is it good? Is it good? Or you know, if you had the wing stop and you didn't had this sandwich, let me know which one better. Cause the better it is, the more I'm be looking for it. And man, I ain't gonna even trip. At least I got to try a chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna give y'all the first bite. Y'all take that first spot. Damn, lid is falling out. Okay, try that one more time. I'm sorry, y'all. Try that one more time. Ah, it's good. All right, I'm ready. So let's try this sandwich real quick. Mmm. Ain't that spicy? Like it's a hint of spice, but it ain't just hot. Like hot, hot. It's very tolerable, and it's it's good. It's, I ain't going to cap. It's good. Yo, the chicken. The chicken is very crispy and very flavorful. I'm dealing with it. It's a pass. This is a very valid chicken sandwich. It's even better than the one from McDonald's. Like, I had one of those in McDonald's. The chicken kind of rubbery and I, I, I. But this. You can tell by my mouth this thing busting. You feel me? I also got some of their fries. Burger King fries. You know how I go. The uh the thicker version. I can say. I don't know, it's a debate, but for me, McDonald's fries beat everybody fries. Sorry. That's just for me. 
This is my opinion. That's how I rock. I ain't trying to tell you to rock like that. I'm just saying. It's crazy. Yo. Speaking of opinions, right? Speaking of opinion, basically why y'all came here, you know what I'm saying? I ain't did a vibe with Nita Ben about two, three weeks, ma'am. Girl been busy, been working. Y'all know how I told y'all I got these two jobs. I'm trying to do YouTube all it. So, y'all bear with me. I also want to start going live every weekend, but because I'm working late, just bear with me. Y'all just keep hit that subscribe button. Let me know y'all feel me so I can really get into it. But listen, I was thinking, now this is going to work for a lot of people, fellas, because I was having this conversation, and this mostly go to like the religion, religious type people, you know, the you know they believe in organized religion and all that good stuff. Like I'm not trying to tell y'all how to think. I'm not trying to tell y'all how to move. You know, you believe in what you believe. That's cool. I'm not one of the people. Me and you ain't gotta agree on everything because it's not realistic. But you have your belief. I have my morals the same. All that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But for me. I've been thinking as I've been on my journey of growth and trying to be a better human being, a better person in general, I've had a couple things. I've been questioning a lot of the things that I've been taught in my life. Starting with one, I don't understand why people are so caught up in the word agenda and throwing agendas around all the time. Like, it's an agenda on why homosexuality is popular now or something. And it's an agenda to have all these transsexuals outside and transgender people coming out. Me, personally, I don't feel like it's an agenda. Because we... Not, I mean, yeah, because I'm a part of the LGBT community. Excuse me. We're not a fashion. We're not a fad. We're not something that's in style. I don't I don't understand that. Do I feel like we, we're getting the recognition that we should have been had? Yes. I also feel like in every group, there are some bad apples. And because a couple of the, you know, other people that's a part of that certain group doesn't mean everybody in the group is like that. Everybody doesn't have an agenda. A lot of people are just happy to finally see representations of themselves and like i said when it even when it comes to straight people black people white people any type of group of people um christians and um episcopalians and muslims all that it's always bad apples in every bunch so i don't feel like they're putting out gay as an agenda to distract people because that makes no sense to me you can't you can't take who i am and put it as an agenda only you can push it for your certain benefit and every okay so i'm put it like this even if it is pushed for a certain reason it doesn't mean that the people who are being pushed are representing the same reason that the people are pushing it for we have our own minds we have our own way of thinking if you choose to use it don't let people change your mind on certain people and don't let the actions of other people determine on how you live your life that doesn't make sense to me but yeah it's a lot of people who who really be tripping on that and they're crazy like, they just for me like what someone else does with their life with their body with their private parts with their partners whatever they doing shouldn't have zero effect on your life can't nobody make you happy can't nobody make you feel no type of way that you choose not to feel if someone is doing some stuff that you don't like guess what you have the opportunity and the willpower and the strength to walk away and you know people will be in so much peace if you don't like just like i had a debate about p valley a couple weeks ago you didn't like the show change the channel like no one's 
no one's telling you you have to watch this. No one's telling you to agree with it. But the people who agree with it, the people who do represent for it, and the people who do like the show, they're for that people. You know what I'm saying? It's been so many straight shows on TV. Ain't nobody ever said, I'm tired of looking at this woman ass. Never. Ain't nobody ever said that. But as soon as two men start showing affection, oh, the, the world is ending and everybody throwing the jungle. It's like, calm down. Move around. Um, I love everybody. I'm just letting it be known. I'm not into bashing and talking about it and judging people. Even though I've had, I have been in those shoes. But like I said, because I'm trying to grow. I want to be different. I want to be better. I, I want to be more than what I know. I want to be more than what I'm taught. I don't want to just hear something and take your word for it anymore. I want to do my own wishes. I want to do my own things with your own mind. Everybody got their own mind. Be very powerful. Use it. Speaking of being very powerful, I'm using my power to try these chicken fries for the first time. Don't know if I'm going to like them or not. It's my first time seeing one in person. And it's like, what is it made out of? Let me see what is in the middle. In the middle, it's a little rubbery looking. I ain't even no dipping sauce. I didn't get nobody dipping sauce. Oh, got some barbecue sauce. Let me see what this barbecue sauce here now. Barbecue. I got a hickory barbecue sauce. It's kind of buzzing. But because that chicken fry ain't got no flavor to it, it ain't doing nothing for it. So, I'm going to pass on these chicken fries. But this chicken, this chicken sandwich is buzzing. I'm halfway done with it. I'm going to take another bite. Okay. I had some more stuff got my chest. Hold on, man. I just got to talk and eat. And if y'all want to talk and eat with me too, man, go ahead. Y'all grab some chips, some candy, some cookies. Whatever y'all want to indulge in. Go ahead, grab a snack and get into the conversation. So my second thing was this. Now, like I said, I'm not trying to get nobody to change their beliefs. I'll stop. Believe in some of hate me because my opinions are my opinions. I'm not forcing it on you. But my thing is this. Right? I'm starting to come up and is it me? Or all my life we go to school to graduate, get degrees in education, to still graduate to work for somebody else. Is it me? What is the purpose of school? Can somebody tell me this? Why do we have to start school from three years old all the way to 19, 18, 20, 21, 22? We spend our whole childhood into early adulthood in school to really graduate and use minimum to nothing that we learn on the curriculum. Ain't nobody ever said nothing like, and then if you choose not to go to school and you think that it's a waste of time, you can send your parents to jail. You can be labeled as a delinquent, misbehaving child 
all because you don't want to go. You actually have to go to court and do all this, be on truancy and all that. If you choose not to follow the the protocol of going to school. That's weird to me, man. That's weird. And I know a lot of people will be like, well, you need school. You need school. But what does it teach you is what I want to know. I know it's, um, it's crazy. It's mandatory. But I just want to know why they haven't put classes in school that's going to actually help us, like, as, after we graduate. Like, teach me about credit. Man, look, when I graduated, I was dumb as a box of rocks. I didn't know which way was left, which way was right. I was not properly ready to be an adult. I actually spent two years doing absolute nothing because I was lost and actually terrified of becoming an adult because all my life I had been sheltered and, and pretty much spoiled. And, you know, everything was really there. I just had to go to school and get good grades. But, but after I graduated with a 3.0, I didn't go to college because I didn't feel there was anything that I wanted to do in college. There's no degree that I want to do. I, since I was young, I've always had the mindset of wanting to own my own business and work for myself. And I knew in high school, no one taught me how to do that. That's why I was lost and didn't know what to do. And I feel like if we had more classes of entrepreneurship and credit teaching and stuff of that nature in public schools, we will be a lot better off. You know what I'm saying? For me personally, like I said, everybody ain't got to agree with what I'm saying. But me personally, I feel like the only thing school helped me do was learn how to react and be around different groups of people. And when I say different group of people, different shades of black people because I went to an all black school. It was maybe two or three white people. Maybe it's some, you know, Hispanics or whatever, but it was predominantly black. So basically school for me was like a big social experiment. It taught me how to talk. It, it it helped me get out of my shell because I was a very shy kid. You know, I literally talked to myself, you know, for a long time because I didn't have friends. I had imaginary friends since until I was like almost damn near 12, 13 because I was in my shell. I was a sheltered kid. I didn't need to be outside. I didn't need to do all that. I learned how to have fun myself. So I said I let to say this, like, man, literally, I was literally just being by myself and going to school, getting to high school and playing sports and all that stuff got me out my shell. So that's why I feel like in my head, after looking back on where I am now, I feel like school is a more of a, a social experiment, uh, a, underway, a free daycare <laughs> to watch your kids so you can be a worker and your kids can go graduate and then they'll be a worker. I want to teach my kids to be entrepreneurs, to go try to get it out on their own, get their own money, and not work for nobody because I'm telling you now. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Get my numbers up, man. I am trying to get off the slave clock. I do not want to be on somebody else's time. I have to go clock in and be around people when I'm not even feeling like myself because bills don't care about how I feel. It's very depressing. But I keep pushing because I know I have a goal and I'm going to reach it. So everybody that's been in this video, man, that's watched this long, man, who agree disagree however you feel you know you can put it in the comments we can talk about it but go ahead like this video man i got more content coming up i got more food challenges i got more other challenges i got more story times man i got more pranks uh cooking up so man everybody who in my channel everybody who represent for me and you know for the just the free thinkers and everybody who just trying to do something on their own and be great Go on, like the video. Go on, share this thing. And if you ain't subscribed, man, go on, subscribe. Because there need to be, it's going to blow. And remember, I said this September 5th, Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. I forgot no Labor Day. Goddamn. Look, <laughs> I knew I was off work. I forgot why. But, yeah. We getting it up, man. Until next time, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Peace.